the dominance of index funds, I believe at 28% of the market, it partly due to ETFs, which are more than half of mm -hmm. that. But I gather you are, it's not that you have something against broad ETFs per se. You have something against the narrow ones, the managed ones, and the way people are misusing the broad ones. Is that it? That is exactly it. And, and let me just give it to you a little more specifically. Uh, you know, first, to be crystal clear on this, I couldn't care less if an investor decides to go into the Vanguard S&P 500 ETF or into the Vanguard. I had to create a word for this, a, a, an acronym to go with ETF, TIF, Traditional mm -hmm. Index Funds. Mm -hmm. They both own exactly the same portfolio. They're both part of the same portfolio. Their returns will be identical. They both go for around five or six basis points uh, at, at the Admiral class level. The middle of the day, I mean, come on. Uh, and uh, what would be the point of that at all? <laughs> Uh, but as long as you avoid that temptation. Because then you can sleep that night. <laughs> I mean, a lot of bouncing around is meaning different, no difference mm -hmm. whatsoever. Uh, so fine, and fine for any broad market index fund, which I, uh, which, in which I would include the total bond market with some limitations, and the total U.S. stock market, the S&P 500, uh, international, and even if you want to put a little chunk into emerging market funds, all total market funds. So the idea of investing with the fruits and nuts. I, it's just, you know, we had, a, when these funds started, somebody brought out, I don't think this is 